It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? It's live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Also meaning we find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final my name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and as you can imagine on this occasion Martinez and it's in we've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final one to save her. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So, back underway. We conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Joao Cancelo. A very effective challenge put in. Messi. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. And there's the delivery. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Messi. On to Paredes. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Guerrero. A 
And this is Diogo Jota now. Defence of Brazilians to shut them down. Portugal looking dangerous. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now well Molina. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Martinez! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Number 22, Lotaro Martinez. Looking for the angle. Brilliant save. Short corner it is. Shot up. Brilliantly blocked. Ronaldo. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Messi. De Paul. an astute piece of defending this might be ideal for the counter will they profit from this situation no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking it's been a really good performance from them so far Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. And a throw-in for Argentina. Could cross it in here. Pepe. Ottavio. Well, beating his opponent. Cuts in from the flank. Oh, could be. Oh, did so well to deny him. <laughs> Favouring the short one. Shot up, and this would reduce the deficit. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. They take it short. Can they do something with this ball in? Could reduce the deficit, and he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. Goal! Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Martinez and we are going to have two additional minutes can he finish no hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead well that was a poor miss could they come to regret that
and the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, the ball is moving again and work to do for Portugal in this second half. Space if he goes inside, and now it is there for him. Oh, in it goes! Now they're level. Who saw this coming? Incredible! Well, this is really poor defensively. Just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. Alexis McAllister. Good use of advantage by the referee. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Martinez. Messi! occasion feel the passion well here we can see it again and he does so well to skip beyond the defender it just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away that's a really nice goal away again and we're being treated to plenty of goals 3-2 at the moment Martinez Rodrigo de Paul Nahuel Molina Now, what can they do from here? It should be! And a goal to increase the lead in this final! Will they be stopped now? Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Greatest pass, easily intercepted. Now can they make something happen? Ottavio. Chance to finish! In it goes at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper won't be proud of that moment. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Goal. And they get the ball rolling again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. Messi moving the ball forward with purpose he's got space Guerrero 
Ronaldo. Will he finish? Oh, goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. 21. Diogo Jota. Rodrigo de Paul. And a strong tackle. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, he's through here. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. They take it short, delivering it into the box. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Paredes. Here's Marcos Acuna. Showing a real will to win the ball. Well, they still have designs on the win. to keep them level well at this stage of the game that's a vital stop fantastic from the keeper they will now make use of their substitutes bench keen to take it short here and Bernardo Silva has it ball with Martinez well it comes down to the final five minutes and the advantage accrues to the attacking side and Portugal struggling to keep the ball really closing him down Paredes in with a chance and the keeper more than equal to it the referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. say Derek they've been the best team in the tournament there's no doubt about that Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2020.